to be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast episode... I'm trying to episode number here. 29? 30? 30! Seven and three quarters. Sure. <laughs> My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. And Brian, Brian, man, Peacock. We're about to watch No Mercy. Uh, it's going to be a pretty g- decent show. We've got Braun and Brock to look forward to. The Tag Team Championship. Unfortunately, Enzo's going for the Cruiserweight Championship. Um, the Women's Five-Way Championship match, which shouldn't happen. Bray versus Finn. Uh... You know, a man versus man match. That's right. No demon allowed. No demon allowed. No demons allowed. <sighs> and uh, fucking Roman versus Cena, which I guarantee isn't going to be any good. It's going to be boring as hell. Boring. 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 Let's get to the first match. All right. We just watched the Miz versus Jason Jordan it was a fine match. Yeah, it was a match. The more I see the Miztourage, the less I like them. Yeah. This coming from probably the biggest Miz fanboy on this podcast. Definitely. I don't, <laughs> it's not that I don't even like the Miz. There's just no no opinion. No opinion? Just, really? Like he's he's he is not like there, he's not even enough for me to hate. Really? Yeah. I think he's the best heel in wrestling. He is just a... He's on the show. Okay. Like, I don't... Like, I guess you could say I don't like him, because I don't... Or, I, yeah, because I don't... You like, like his him. ring gear? His ring gear is cool. He does usually have really cool ring gear. His entrance in general is pretty great. Uh, don't really care for the entrance. Don't... The Miz Charaz is pretty lame. Yeah. I like the Miz fits, because they don't look like they fit. And it sucks that it's them instead of Maurice. Because Maurice was great. They were the it couple. I, I, I like the old school pairing of, you know, a man and a, a beautiful woman kind of thing. Like the Macho Man and, and Miss Elizabeth. Yeah. <clears throat> I put them up there especially because he's making the Intercontinental Championship so important right now. That's the other thing I to like about people. Miz. <laughs> what, what do you to mean? To some people. Because, like, <clears throat> like, I could care less about him. Same with uh, Jason Jordan, too. That's how I feel about Jason Jordan. It was like, all right, he's, he's good. These guys are fighting. He cut a Raw promo just now. That that was... I dumb. can't believe he said that. Oh, my God. That thing. Groundbreaking. They went too far. Too far. I mean, okay, if you don't know, he said... He said that the Miz sucks. Whoa. I'm sorry to repeat it. I'm so sorry. But that's, that's what he said. And uh, that so that was a thing. Yeah. It was not a bad match. It was not a great match. I feel like Jason Jordan and Chad Gable had a thing with American Alpha. They should have been a thing for much longer, and yeah. they should have broken up and had a feud. And then we could have got two great characters out of a awesome tag team. Yeah, because neither one of them have that much of a character. No, Jason definitely doesn't. Yeah, not really. And then they did the I. I guess he... That's his whole thing. That was a terrible gimmick. They chanted, who's your daddy? And Corey Graves thought they were chanting that at the Miz. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> so, no, I don't think he was talking to Corey. Yeah, or not, they're talking to the Miz. I'm going to throw that out there. But now, now we're going to watch uh, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt again. No demon allowed. Whatever. Weird. Weird gimmick match. Is that going to be part of the video game now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to need to add that gimmick Developers match. are like, fucking people. Yeah, they're like, really? We have to add that now? You're not allowed to use skin C now in this match. Pretty much. That's what it uh, equates to. Yep. Well, that's that. No, no, no. All right, so we just watched Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, and I couldn't care less about this feud, but these matches are fucking great. Yeah. Uh, this is a feud I've been waiting for, but... I don't yeah. think they're, do- they're not doing it the way they should. There's no reason for it. That's why it doesn't feel okay. Yeah, there was that, too. It, it feels just wrong. kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, kind of. 
WWE was just like, let it happen. Like, Bray was like, I'm creepy. I'm going to mess with the other creepy guy. Yeah. That's <laughs> basically what happened. Yeah, and then they're like not they're not trying to out creep each other from what I can see. No, they're almost they're trying to make sure they're not creepy to each other. Yeah. Which is annoying. Yeah, just like let the like like let, let your freak flag fly. Is yeah. what you're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's anything I'd ever actually say. But I'm all about it. I can mean, but can you imagine if back in the day Kane and Undertaker were feuding and they were like no Undertaker, only Mark Calloway. Yeah, right. They'd be like, it's, no, no, we're yeah, not doing that. Exactly. <laughs> that sounds real lame. But, um, Bray... Kane, you must lose the mask to have this yeah. match with me. You are now Glenn Jacobs. Yes, yeah, so Glenn Jacobs versus Mark Calloway. <laughs> yeah. No, that, I mean, that's like, all right, well, that sounds like, you know, the main event of some indie show. Yeah. Undertaker versus Kane, oh, right, those guys are badasses. Yeah. So, uh, but the match was great. I love that moment where Bray was like, he made me bleed. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> that was great. Um, that did actually kind of seem to drive him a little bit crazy, too, which I love. Yeah. I love the suplexes where he just throws them. That, oh my god. And he lands on his side, too. He's just like, <laughs> fuck this little Irish guy. That's not a thing, right? Like, you're supposed to land on your back. Uh, there are side bombs. But really? Yeah. I wouldn't want to do it on that. Oh, I mean, he's also got a busted shoulder. Yeah, maybe he was favoring the one side then. Yeah, I, it just, God, it looked brutal. I uh, also, I really like how uh, Bray Wyatt, I forgot his name for a second. <laughs> okay. Bray Wyatt sounds like he's from Brooksville. Yeah. Because we, we know Brooksville well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very well. So, he sounds like... Because he ain't no demon. Asuka, tables, ladders, and chairs, October 22nd. That's that's pretty sweet. I wonder who she is. Ooh, 22nd. 22nd. Why is that important? Because uh, it's table, ladders, and chairs, apparently. <laughs> you already knew that somehow. <laughs> yeah, he wants to look at the calendar. Um, that's cool, we got Asuka coming. Soon. Uh, okay, well, oh. I think that injury was bull. Yeah, it was just in weird, weird. I don't know. We can yeah. talk. We talked about that a lot. Um, oh, but you called it. it Finn <laughs> yeah. seemed like he was going to coup de gras, uh Bray in the head. Didn't. Yeah. And a little bit later, God, that looked nasty too. It did. That should have been the finish. Like that's that's pretty extreme. Yeah. I mean, I guess I, I don't really have uh, uh, something to level it to, except for maybe like. When Sean super kicked Shelton Benjamin out of the air. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember if that was the finish, though. It probably I was. Know. I would imagine it was. But I hope this feud gets real freaky real fast. Yeah. That'd there, be nice. There needs to be... There's so much that can be done with this. Like, the as much as I hate Orton, the Orton-Bray thing that was, was fun. so good. It's very inter uh, entertaining. Oh, I need the keyboard. Yeah, you do. You need to fix things. Uh, but I, I would really, really like to see the Wyatts versus the club. That's what I'm hoping this all one day builds to. I don't think it will, but I hope it does. That would be cool. It would be cool. And now I think we're going to watch the Tag Team Championship. No, yeah, yes we are. Seth. I said no because it's Seth Rollins, but no, he is a champion. They are him and, and whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose retain. I don't hate that. Me either. I got it. The, I, Sheamus and Cesaro are so good, though, that I wish, and I think they're building to them being champions again. I just want those guys to be champions for a long time. Weren't they? For a little while. Not long enough. Not long enough. This was a match of four incredible single superstars. That's true. Yeah. Like, all four, of the, every one of those guys was incredible. And the the most simplest, most innocent spot, a monkey flip into the corner. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you think Cesaro hit that, that screen monitor and knocked his teeth out? Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. That's what it was. Oh, it didn't even look like he hit anything, though, from our perspective. Yeah, it looks like he just was, Take like, it. selling into... Yeah. Hitting it. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, he either smacked his mouth on that screen thing, 
or on the bar that connects them. I doubt that. That's... Whatever he hit, he hit it hard and knocked a a or two or three teeth out. Cause he, he's missing a couple now. He's also missing a lot of blood. Yeah. It's all over his face. <laughs> all over his face, all over his body, all over, Probably all over the other rings. guys. And the finish of the match, I thought was pretty great. Um, yeah. He did the Ricola bomb. Right. Which is pretty freaking cool. I don't think he's done the Ricola bomb since he's been WWE. I don't think so. I feel like because it was Seth, Seth must have like crossed his arms like just do it, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why they don't. We don't know they don't let him. I wonder right. why he doesn't use the Ricola bomb. I don't know. It's a cool looking power bomb. Yeah. He should start using it again. But I definitely got excited when I saw him crossing Seth's arms. Yeah. And then power bomb him right onto Dean. Ouch. Talk about spots that's gotta hurt. Yeah. That there's no way that that felt okay. Yeah, not really. Uh but in the oh, Rainmaker. Yeah, the and, Rainmaker knee. <laughs> the Rainmaker knee and uh and the uh what is he called? The Dirty Deeds. Oh, DDT. Yeah. And they won and they retained their championship. Yeah, all right. I'm okay and, with it, I guess. And I think we should start something on the show. We should pause it exactly where we have it now oh. on the crowd. Yes. Because look at some of these people. Look at that is the most unnecessary sign of the world. The blue sign, blue text, burn it down. Red text, lunatic fringe. Red text, Seth freaking Rollins, blue text, and Dean freaking Ambrose. Yeah, I don't get it. It's like a five year old sign, but I'm pretty sure that's an adult holding it. Probably. <laughs> it's just like. It's, it's, the scale of all the letters are way off. It's a terrible so sign. bad. Bad sign of the show. That's worst sign of the show. And this guy at the bottom left, next to the kid above the lady with the white shirt. Yeah. He looks like he's taking a family photo. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tommy Dreamer's at the top left. Yes. <laughs> They're wearing a Roman Reigns shirt. And then the guy in the plaid shirt can't be bothered to watch. Oh, and the guy next to him. They're on their cell phones. <laughs> And then there's uh, the Stranger Things kid right there. I was just there. about to say, yeah, the Stranger <laughs> Things kid. Bullet uh, Club t-shirt, which we're going to have in every shot. What are the homies next to the Bullet Club t-shirt doing? Looking up. Uh, what? Jesus. <laughs> Isn't that know. happy? Wait, no, look. Uh, Machete is also looking up to the left of the, the weird sign. Okay, yeah, maybe they have a screen up there or something. Yeah, they're looking at something. Yeah, or Machete. Jesus. Or, or Jesus, yeah. Oh, look at that kid down there with the glasses looking up, too. And then you got little Cena with the uh, we'll legit see. boss. Uh, I love boss I love rings. people that mix all the different, their favorite stuff. <laughs> I legitimately love that. You know what I don't, you know what I'm indifferent on? What's that? Wrestling cosplays. Yeah? I'm very indifferent about them. You love cosplays. I do. I don't know how I feel about wrestling. I see some where I'm like, wow, you look like... The wrestler. But it's yeah. like, at the same time, like, but you probably look like them regardless. <laughs> so, true. like, I came across, I think it was a Carmella cosplay today. Right. And I was like. She's wearing a Carmella shirt. Is that just not her? That's it. That's all you have to do is wear a Carmella shirt and a hat, right? She wears a hat. And a bunch of chain. It was right. And it wouldn't take A much. lot of makeup and stuff, too, I'm sure. But Like, for unless the, you're doing, like, minutes. Finn Balor and you're getting painted up. Yeah. I don't know. Do Bray Wyatt and have all the dreads? Maybe I should be Bray Wyatt for Halloween. Yeah? Maybe you should be Bray Wyatt for Halloween so you can um, at least dress up at something. I'm not dreading my hair. I almost did. I threaten every year to be CM Punk. Just tape my hands. I'll be CM Punk. Don't make me do it. Oh, wait. I did that one year. I didn't tape my hands. I can't remember what I did. This is the year you just wore the CM Punk shirt to the yeah. game store? Yeah, I think it was. It doesn't count. <laughs> it does. Nope. It's like I told you earlier, I'm coming to the Harry Potter party <laughs> as a muggle. <laughs> Just to uh, piss you off. Eric outmuggled you, though. Did he? Yeah. I came up, I, I told him that idea. I know. But he said his parents were dentists. Okay. You'll figure it out. I won't. Hermione's parents are dentists. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he outmuggled you. I was surprised. I was like, whoa, Eric, good job. <laughs> you, I, I don't know Eric that well. He, you, he's probably like... 
well, I guess not really like you, but he's forced to watch that stuff all the time. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Could like it. <laughs> Eric, tell us down below in the, <laughs> yeah, in the comments. Right. Oh, oh, man. This is a good match. I hope the next one's good. I don't even know what it is. It's probably the know. women's match. We'll see. Maybe. So we just watched the women's Fatal Five way. Had we done a predictions for this show, I would have talked all kinds of shit about this match because I was not looking forward to it. Yeah, we got pleasantly surprised. Yeah, that was a damn good match. <laughs> Fucking A. Match of the night so, so far. far. That was great. That was really good. Alexa won. Damn Thank right. God. The goddess lives on as she should. But I think Alexa... Not a uh, Naya really won that match. Yeah, she controlled that was, some of those. That was Naya's match, and thank God that's what we needed. And I hated her. How do you feel now? Um, I'll watch more. She's a threat. Yeah. De she definitely She's feels like a threat now. Better than the last time I saw her. Yeah. Which, I mean, it was a while ago. Which she's been good. I think they just, for whatever reason, it's like, yeah, go out there and don't do much. Yeah, be the. Do the. Big gimmick. You know, what what that's all... Rest, push them around. But, yeah, but they, she hasn't even really done that. Now she's doing, you know, the multi-person slams and and just kicking the crap out of people, and they're treating her like a threat. They're treating her like the Big Show or Mark Henry, mm -hmm. and they should. Yeah. She's going to murder them all. That's how it should be. Oh, she starts choke slamming people. I like the Samoan drop as her finisher. Yeah, Nobody's it's, well, it's a little... You know, it's used all the time. And expected. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Alexa's using the Spike DDT, which also isn't too fantastic. No, I wish she had something a little more elaborate. She was uh, just using something else. Oh, the uh, the off the top Bliss Splash or whatever the hell. Oh, off the, yeah. Was, Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. It was weird. But they I could have done it. something better. But Alexa wins... The match is fantastic. Emma didn't get anything good out of that, I don't think. Her gloves made you uncomfortable. Yeah, her gloves definitely <laughs> made me a little uncomfortable. I don't I don't get the whole two thirds glove thing. Yeah, I don't get most of Emma, unfortunately. No. I like the whole it's all about me. I liked her entrance. I liked her character, but she didn't need to be in that need to treat her the way they treat the NXT people, whereas we're not gonna Make you a big deal until we're ready for you. Right. So they said that she took time off in whatever, Australia. Yeah, New she Zealand. Taking more... Australia. Is it Australia? Yeah. I think uh -huh. it's what <laughs> But, um... Just let her stay there for a while. And let make it a big deal when she comes back. But... I think she has to be a big deal before she leaves. To be a big deal before she comes back. But they could, like, they could do vignettes or something to make it seem like she's a bigger deal than she is. She is very good in the ring. But well, they need highlights for her highlight reel. That, she, they got them from NXT. I guess. She was great in NXT. She popped bubbles in NXT. I love that. <laughs> Just do the whole Emma dance and poke people's eyes out and poke bubbles and... God, I think that was the dumbest thing. You're the dumbest thing. Speaking of the dumbest Actually. thing... <laughs> Oh, uh, Roman Reigns on the screen right now. Roman Reigns and John Cena's up next. Oh, thank God. It's nap time. Boring piece of shit match I've ever seen. Nothing happened. Right. <laughs> we got a bunch of AAs, a bunch of spears. We got a spear through the table. Thank God they showed it about 18 times. So I missed the it first really, really replays. did. Yeah, you you like you didn't really watch that match. You've been sitting on your phone. But I know I didn't miss anything. I, I went on my phone a few times. I went for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> After Cena hit, which was one of the only cool things I like at this point, is mm -hmm. when he does the AA and rolls right into another one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but oh boy, Cena's had better matches. <laughs> yeah. I think we found the problem. It's Roman. <laughs> Roman uh, you... is fucking boring. Yeah? Did I what? Look at that. Look at that kid. He's devastated. Oh, my God. He'll be able to sleep for a week. I don't week. care. I don't care. I got a spoiler for this match because we're a few minutes behind. But 
For what, what's the next match? No, I meant this one. Oh, right. And, you didn't uh, seem too devastated about. I didn't care. Didn't care one bit. Was not surprised one bit. One point, one of them, one of the commentators, was like he just wants to go home, and I yelled, "I want to go home." God, was that match like twenty minutes long? Yeah, it was a long fucking match to do a whole lot of nothing. A lot of God. boring chance. A lot, a lot of, of boring chance. John Cena was just gonna leave. Yeah, I wish he would have. Yeah. I would've... That match should have ended with a super AA. Okay, they're staring each other down. This is where the heel turn needs to happen. They're staring each other down. Cena's moving closer. Roman's... What would be a heel turn here? Fucking Superman punch Cena. Something, anything. Dude, rock bot. Uh, oh. I thought it was Cena. Mm -hmm. Raises his hand. Roman, don't listen to these fans. Uh, is Cena leaving for a while? Is that what we're seeing here? He's kind of given... Did Roman just retire Cena? Uh, did he retire The Undertaker and then retire Cena? Maybe. Can he retire himself? I thought AJ retired Cena. I thought Kevin retired Cena. I, in, I, and again, I am not complaining about Cena. I'm complaining about Roman. Yeah. Cena versus AJ was amazing. If Cena takes his little sweatbands off and leave him, leaves him in the middle of the ring, I don't even know what I'm going to do. He's done that so many times. That's true. Oh, man, we're getting so many replays. Is Braun and Brock as bored as we are? Laughing. Like, we don't have to do much in our match to make this much better. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing down the crowd, guys. <laughs> They're going to love anything we do. <laughs> They're just going to stand up. They probably are going to just going to stand in the ring for a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, shut up, Roman. Just go to the back. See this hanging out in the ring. All right. That's it. We don't, I don't have anything else to say about this fucking match. Do you? Nope. This, I apologize. This has gone on too long. We're going to watch a good match. Maybe. All right, folks. So we just watched Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar. Which was exactly what I thought it would be. A monster versus monster match. Braun controlled it early on. And then which he was, was super cool city. to see. It really was. Yeah. To see Brock, how people, how he normally treats people. Yeah. Is how Braun treated him. I would have liked to see Braun take a little bit more, uh, take over a little bit more at the end. And then, you know. This makes me hate lost. the Cena Roman Reigns match even more. Yeah. Because we could have lost half of their match. And we could have got way more destruction out of Braun and Brock. Yeah, because that match wasn't bad for what it was. It was real short. Or yeah. at least it felt that way. I don't know if I fell asleep through it. No. But, yeah, you know, next thing I know, it's over. Yeah, it was over pretty quick. It was just all of a sudden an F5 and... What was it? Okay. So, uh, that was... Uh, I already forgot the name. No Mercy. Yeah. And a uh, solidly okay show. It was alright. I would say match of the night was the five-way women's match. Definitely. Fucking fantastic match. And the tag team match was also really, really good. Oh, yeah. So we got some good matches out of it. Um, unfortunately, we did get Enzo Amore becoming Cruiserweight Champion. And yeah. Cena versus Reigns. So those are some real low points. Yeah. And uh, speaking of low points, did want to briefly talk about Adam Blompier, Adam Pacitti, Ross Tweedle, Sam Driver, and Jack King have left what culture? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know a lot about what culture, but from what I do understand, who's left? Uh, well, I mean, there's Ben, who's in a lot of their stuff. He's in a lot of like their the main channel stuff, mm -hmm. and then um, there's the the other guy, the bald guy, Simon. But I don't know I don't know if he works for Walt Culture because I see him in a lot of other channels content. So the supposedly Walt Culture has a bunch of young new faces to bring in. But I gotta wonder like this channel blew up because of those guys. Very much because of those guys. Okay. They started the What Culture Wrestling. Adam and 
Adam were very big on air talents for that wrestling show. So what's going to happen to that? And who's going to run it? Because from what I understand, they were all running it. Yeah, I don't know. Are they, I mean, it's very possible that a lot of those wrestlers stayed loyal to them. And That's then that, possible. that whole what culture wrestling thing is going to crumble. And then like a phoenix, future villains, future heels even, yeah. rises and becomes the main show. And we start our own wrestling promotion. That's what's going to happen. Make it happen, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Donate to... Don't, yeah, go, go to the patreon.com slash best in the realm. I'll make it happen. Donate to the Kickstarter we all have. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, did you see that uh, they invited Cody Rhodes to be a part of Starcade? I did. Which is pretty cool. Um, I also saw a lot of people online saying it was really stupid that they're doing Starcade. It's just, just nostalgia, and they're not, they're just using the name, blah blah blah. But they have two cage matches in it, and you know, two of the most important Starcade matches ever were cage matches. Um, so it's not just a name, but I like that they're bringing some of the old stuff back. Yeah, that's fine. It's also not a WWE product. It was a WCW product? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, why not? Own it. Yeah, why not do it? Uh, they invited Cody, which is very cool, but um, I don't think that's going to happen because now Cody has signed an exclusive contract with Ring of Honor. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah, good for Cody. Good for Ring of Honor. Uh... That's just just good all around. I wish we would have seen uh, Cody at Starcade though. Could still happen. It could. Anything could happen in pro wrestling. A lot of times, it's boring stuff. <laughs> like we saw tonight. Yeah, that's true. But thanks for joining us, guys. I think this is going to be a pretty short one because there, God, there wasn't a lot to talk about. Well, the gender racism thing. Huh. The racist gender. Oh promo. well, we didn't even see that promo. I I heard it on the radio. Yeah. And it's not racist. It's him being a heel. Yeah. Get the fuck over it. Just like uh, some years ago, I think Jericho took like the Irish flag or something and like stomped on it. Yeah. And he's like he's banned from that. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's just I think he maybe he got a fine or he got suspended or something yeah. from WWE. Something it's, stupid. It's wrestling. Wrestling is racist. It just is. And the point I made to you earlier was I hear all the time and the majority of wrestling fans want it to be old school again. Right. We want old school. Everyone wants old school. Old school, old school, old school. And then all this fucking outrage over him. What did he say? He said, he showed a picture of Nakamura. He says, this is what... Nakamura looks like before I beat him and showed the same picture and he said uh, this is what he look, he's going to look like after I beat him see he always looks the same so he was making fun of his accent yeah and so. I, think they, I think they said something else another something to make fun of him but dumb the dumb. dumb is Enzo Amore is, it's muted but he's like freaking out on King look well, King he's laughing can't take this guy seriously. He's like, look at this little shit. Look at this little shit. Look at this little belt. You just tell him to sit down, looks like. Sit, just sit down. Sit down. We should just... The belt looks heavy. Guess what they say. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is real heavy. And <laughs> looking around at him. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to need some help with this belt, King. And, uh... I forget what I was saying... But wow, that uh, was perfect. <laughs> I think that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, it is what I was saying. I'm more stupid. I'm in some more. Hey, look at this belt. Look at this belt. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I beat Devil. Oh it, no! Hold on, guys. Enzo. This is my funnier view to the video <laughs> at the same time. Maybe we'll have to do some riff tracks. That would be kind of funny. I think I'd be terrible at it, but it'd be fun. You know who want to be bad at rip tracks and then some more, eh? <laughs> they can be great at it. I think you're great at it too, and so I'm bad at accents. Which <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, just makes us better. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I'm a cruiserweight champion, and this belt's going to put it on my shoulder, and I'm going to walk away. And uh, who, who got catering? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look, even King thinks it's funny. 
Enzo's not funny. Enzo's fucking terrible. Let's stop. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been the Future Heels podcast. It's been a bit of a shorter one because this show, quite frankly, pretty much sucked. I think we tried to talk it up a little bit, but it's not working. Okay. I even tried ref tracks there towards the end and it didn't work. Yeah, that was that does not work well if they don't have the video. <laughs> we we honestly do need to do that sometime though. I think that would be so much fun. Me, at least me and Brooks need to do it. And you can just chime in every once in a while. And I think me and Brooks would be fucking great at it. Yeah. <laughs> or we should just do commentary over bad wrestling matches. Yeah, that's probably five dollar wrestling. Thing. Yeah. Absolutely. But it'd be fun. It'd be so much fun. I want to do it. Let us know if you want us to do it. Comment down below. Yeah, this has been the Future Heels Podcast. You can find it on iTunes. You can find it soon on other places. I'm working <laughs> on things. You can find it on YouTube at Future Villains. YouTube.com slash Future Villains. Or just look up Future Villains. You can find... Uh, on YouTube right now. Are you really? Yeah. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm. You can also find us on Twitter at Future Villains. Where can they find you on Twitter? Um, on Twitter at yes. Brian Twenty Five. <laughs> Where on are you on Twitter. Instagram? Uh, eleven Brian Eleven Thirty Eight. That's right. That's the that's the easiest way to follow me. I think I have a very interesting Instagram account. You do. Let's check it out. You do make it's, some pretty cool stuff. It is covered with all kinds of weird things. <laughs> That's the best kind of, of, of it, Instagram account. It's so... Because I see a lot of people who have Instagram accounts, and it's all the same thing. Just them. Ju or, yeah, or it's just <laughs> them, or it's like all board games, or it's all wrestling, or it's right. all whatever. I just keep putting everything on one. You ever been to John Cena's Instagram? No. He probably has the best Instagram account. I know Enzo's <laughs> is pretty good. Don't say that. I hate to say Don't it. give him any kind pretty of credit. funny. Don't do that. Okay. You can find me on Instagram at best... Underscore and underscore the underscore realm. Uh, <laughs> I really need to change that one day. Uh, you can find all of our content at futurevillains.com. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. I thought I misspelled that for a second. Um, and then, of course, you can find my content on YouTube, youtube.com slash best of the realm. You can catch my live stream, twitch.tv slash best of the realm. Thank you for listening, guys. Keep up the listening. Keep up the sharing. Uh, we're getting more and more listeners all the time, and we really appreciate it. But uh, thank you for listening. Let's stop. <laughs>